Wait, did that mother stork just throw her baby out of the nest? You're not imagining things. Let's rewind for a closer look, this time in slow motion. Unbelievable, right? What on earth is happening here? Could this be a tragic mistake that makes this stork the worst mom ever? Actually, no, because, wait a second, there's another stork, and it's doing the exact same thing. Shocking, isn't it? Aren't storks supposed to deliver babies, not toss them out of their nests like yesterday's trash? Hi everyone, and welcome back to Wildlife Explained. Today, we're diving into a behavior that looks brutal at first glance, but has some fascinating reasons behind it. Why do stork mothers do what seems so unthinkable? What's going through their minds when they eject their own chicks? Is it some kind of training exercise? And does the mother even swoop back in to save her baby afterward? Stick with us, because the truth behind this dramatic scene might surprise you, and it could change the way you think about survival in the animal kingdom. Let's start by talking about what happens to the unlucky chick in these situations. White storks usually build their nests in really high places, like on top of buildings that can be as tall as five stories. Because of this, when a chick gets pushed out of the nest, the chances of surviving the fall are almost zero. Hitting the ground from that height is usually fatal. But if the nest happens to be lower, like on a small tree or a short building, there's a chance the chick might survive the fall. Unfortunately, surviving the fall doesn't mean the chick is safe. Once it's on the ground, it faces new dangers, like being an easy meal for predators, such as foxes, cats, or even larger birds. And if no predators find it, the chick might still die from starvation, since it can't take care of itself. Basically, even if it gets lucky at first, the odds of making it much further are very slim. So, to answer the first question, is this just a way for storks to practice parenting or train their chicks? Definitely not. This isn't some kind of mistake or test. It's a deliberate act, a decision made by the mother stork. But wait just a second. Doesn't something about this seem completely off? I mean, isn't it practically a universal truth that mothers are hardwired to protect their young? Think about the iconic image of a mama bear fiercely defending her cubs. That's the picture of maternal instinct we all know and expect, right? So why does this behavior feel so counterintuitive when it comes to these storks? To better understand, we should take a step back and look at the bigger picture of a white stork's life. These birds may appear graceful and carefree as they glide effortlessly through the skies, but their lives are anything but simple. Every moment is a fight for survival, filled with challenges most of us can barely imagine. Picture this, you're a white stork. Every year, like clockwork, you embark on a dangerous journey spanning thousands of kilometers, migrating between Europe and Africa. This isn't a leisurely trip, but a grueling test of endurance and survival. Along the way, you face unpredictable weather, strong winds, heavy rains, and scorching heat. Predators lurk in unexpected places, and food can be painfully scarce. Some days, finding enough to eat feels almost impossible. But the journey isn't optional, it's a matter of life and death. Without reaching your destination, you won't find the resources to survive or the nesting grounds to raise your young. And the journey isn't just once in a lifetime, it's twice a year. Every spring, you return to Europe to breed, and every fall, you head back to Africa to escape the cold. Each trip is filled with uncertainty. Will you make it through the storms? Will there still be safe places to land and rest, or have those habitats disappeared, replaced by buildings or barren land? Climate change and human expansion are constantly reshaping the stork's world, making this already daunting journey even harder. When you finally arrive at your resting site, if you make it, the real work begins. For white storks, raising a family is no small feat. These birds mate for life and work together as a team to build their nests. 
They choose high visible spots like rooftops, treetops, or even utility poles to keep their young safe from ground predators. Over time, these nests become enormous, often spanning more than six feet across. Each year, they return to the same spot, adding new material to the nest, ensuring it's sturdy enough to handle their growing family. Once the nest is ready, the female lays up to four or five eggs over a week. Each of these fragile eggs needs constant care and protection. Both parents take turns incubating them, keeping them warm and safe from the elements. But even this is a challenge. In areas where food is scarce, one parent may struggle to find enough to eat, while the other stays behind to guard the eggs. When the chicks finally hatch, the workload doesn't just double, it skyrockets. The parents must work tirelessly, flying back and forth to hunt for food. Their diet includes insects, small mammals, and frogs. But finding enough for a hungry brood can feel like an endless task. As human activity encroaches on wetlands and natural habitats, the places storks rely on to hunt are disappearing. In some areas, pollution makes the remaining food sources toxic, further threatening the survival of the chicks. The parents often have to travel farther and farther to find suitable feeding grounds, burning precious energy and taking risks with every journey. Now, let's take a closer look at the mother stork. Imagine her, perched in her nest, surrounded by her fluffy chirping chicks. They're hungry, their tiny beaks opening and closing, expecting her to provide. She glances around anxiously. The father should have returned hours ago with food. But there's no sign of him. Did something happen? Maybe he was caught by a predator. Maybe he's injured. Or worse. Whatever the reason, she's alone now, left to care for her entire brood. Her food supply is running dangerously low. She's already exhausted, making countless trips to find enough to feed her chicks. Every trip takes energy she barely has, and every day, the demand grows. Now she's faced with an agonizing reality. She can't keep up. There's simply not enough food for all of them, and if she tries to feed them equally, none of them will survive. Here's the brutal truth of her situation. To save the many, she may have to sacrifice the one. This isn't a decision she makes lightly. She looks over her chicks carefully, scanning them with a sharp motherly eye. One of them is smaller, weaker. Perhaps it hatched later than the others, missing out on those critical early meals. Maybe it's ill, its strength fading faster than the rest. Either way, it's clear, this chick isn't going to make it. The mother stork knows she has to act quickly. Every moment she delays puts her entire brood at greater risk. In a moment that's equal parts instinctive and heartbreaking, she makes her choice. With a quick motion, she picks up the weaker chick, its tiny body squirming, and ejects it from the nest. It's a decision that feels cruel to us, but for the mother stork, it's about survival. It's a harsh, unyielding reality of nature, where even love has its limits. It's called brood reduction, a survival strategy seen in many bird species, not just storks. Eagles, pelicans, and even some types of owls do it too. At its core, brood reduction is nature's way of ensuring survival in harsh conditions. In the wild, life is tough, and resources like food are often limited. So, when there's not enough to go around, parents make a difficult choice. They focus on giving their strongest chicks the best shot at surviving, even if it means sacrificing the weaker ones. This might sound cruel, but it's part of how nature works. For example, some eagles practice something called siblicide. In this case, the older or stronger sibling will push the weaker one out of the nest. Why? Because the stronger chick is more likely to survive and pass on its genes. Other species, like cuckoos, have a completely different strategy. Cuckoo birds lay their eggs in the nests of other birds tricking those parents into raising the cuckoo chick instead of their own. The result? The cuckoo thrives while the host's chicks often don't. 
And it's not just birds that do this. Even mammals, like lions, sometimes abandon or even kill cubs that they believe are too weak to make it. As brutal as it seems, the reasoning behind it is the same. By putting all their effort into the strongest offspring, parents increase the chances of their genes being passed on to the next generation. It's natural selection in action, a harsh but effective way of ensuring survival. Now, let's go back to the mother stork. Imagine her standing at the nest. She's made her choice, letting go of the weakest chick to focus on the others. It's heartbreaking, but it's also her way of giving the remaining chicks the best chance at survival. Over time, those chicks grow stronger. With their mother's care, they eventually fledge, meaning they leave the nest and begin their own lives. Her decision, as tough as it was, has worked. The stronger chicks have survived, and her genes will live on in future generations. Nature may seem cruel at times, but every decision, every instinct, serves a purpose. It's all about survival, and in the wild, survival is never guaranteed. It's earned. Until next time, this has been Wildlife Explained, helping you understand the wild world around us.